Welcome back to the Danza Disc Golf. Today, we are here in Largo, Florida, playing Taylor Park Disc Golf Course, and I'm not gonna be playing with my bag today. There's another bag here, as you can see, a grip bag. I'm gonna give you like five seconds to guess whose bag this is. We're just gonna pull a couple discs out. We got Big Bead AVRs, Team Innova stamped, interesting, not Team Innova. I probably put it inside on thumbnail, so this is kind of pointless, but today we're here with Thomas Gilbert. There we go. Welcome to the channel, man. I'm glad we could fit both of us in frame. I'm sure everybody knows who you are if they're on my channel, but do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, who you are uh, the Thomas Gilbert, uh, player out of Canada. Number one player out of Canada. Number one okay. player. Yeah, there thank you, you, thank you. Touring pro uh, likes to be down here in Florida for the off season, so here to play some golf. And to do that, we have two different challenges we're gonna take on today. But in this video, we're gonna actually do a bag swap. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip. These are putters with my stamps. Heads, that means that I go first, tails, you. Heads. Heads. I go first. Hole one, straight down the line there. Yep. Is that in the A position? It looks like 320 feet. B yeah. position maybe? Yeah, it looks about right. That left flexi gap looks kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of weird discs in here, which is good for me <laughs> because that's gonna be something that he probably hasn't thrown, yeah. hasn't been sponsored for a while. I also have thrown very minimal thought space discs. There is a Votum that he can basically just play this course with himself. Yep, I should have taken right. that out because I didn't <laughs> throw it that much. That's gonna be, this one right here. that's not good. I've not been great at flex shots, so I'd rather finish right honestly too instead of left. Yeah, that's the Votum that I just replaced okay. with. These stamps are so cool. I think I'm gonna go with the Glow Votum because it yep. looks a little bit more beat in. I kind of want to just go up that right gap, mm -hmm. but that's kind of really risky. Sit down. Yeah, that's a good shot. Hit yeah, the gap. That's fine. All right, okay. good luck. Good luck with yeah. the... Yeah, <laughs> uh, man. So I've seen you throw a couple of these discs so far. I like the flight numbers of this yeah. strike. So I feel like that might be a good disc for this hole. I'm, gonna see, I'm curious how this will fly. So I'm going to try to do right gap. It flipped up nice. But that was looking perfect. A little though. offline. Oh yeah, you take that. That's heavy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I know. I gotta adjust the straps on these. <laughs> All the way. There down. we go. Oh man, so heavy. Yeah, I definitely won't have that many discs when I play tournaments. But yeah, for now, yeah. I it's I did it just to saddle you with a little bit extra weight, tire <laughs> yeah. you out for the second video. And I forgot to put the bricks in my side pockets. <laughs> Gonna go with the Jokery, one of the discs that I have in my bag, so I know how it should fly. Oh, oh no! The babyest oh of limbs. Oh my gosh, I did not see that branch. All right, here we are at the pipe. We got about 50 feet left, but Pure's got lots of glide, so gonna count on that. It's got my stamp, you better make it. Yep. Oh! Dang, yeah. not quite as much stability. Def yeah, definitely a little flippier than your big BJ. <laughs> I do think that you putting with those putters though is a benefit to you because you know how small my hands are. Yes. So you can get around any putter. It takes you a little <laughs> yeah. bit more to get around any putter. Okay, uh, you end up right here. You're, you're a really good shot. The palmetto out of my way. Yeah, don't let that get in your head. I won't let, even let it get in my way, Thomas. <laughs> Oh, that's masterful cool. putt. All right. A plus effort. I bring it when the pros are on the channel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, hole number two here. Somehow, I got two strokes. This is a you great did. place to be. Yep. We're going B position 252, just up into the left, that big leaning tree, just inside of it and back about 50 feet. Um, putter or mid, he does have an envy in here. That could really work. Just the slightest headwind coming through here. Yeah, that got around the corner. That'll be fun. I think it's another putt. Definitely feeling a putter on this one. Looking for something stable, but not crazy stable. Um, I'm kind of between this RPM and the copperhead. I feel like the copperhead might be a little straighter, so I think I'm gonna go with the RPM Kia. You're making so many of my subscribers so happy. I have so many subscribers from New Zealand. Perfect, well they're there you stoked. go. Let's they're see stoked how it right now. This is gonna get clipped. Now it's more pressure. So that was the plan. Get around it. Okay, I think that's a putt as well. You got so much spin on that, man. The shallowness of this putter is making me kind of like question where to put my finger. 
Because usually I put it on the rim, like, on, like where like, a bead would be. But yeah, it sounds like a big person hand problem. It, it does, <laughs> it's kind of a big person hand problem because now I kind of feel like I need to tuck my finger underneath the rim, which is not what I typically do. There we go. Good putt, good putt. All right, I like putting myself behind Paul Meadows. It's kind of my pastime right now. <laughs> All right, I have a guy on my channel who calls foot fault in every video. You gotta confirm that's not one. We are good. It's, okay. It's a good foot placement. Oh, forehand or backhand flexor? I mean, this is hard ground, but if you'd much rather throw the harder shot, be, by all means, give me a stroke. <laughs> all right, well, I think I'm gonna try to go forehand and I'm gonna need an overstable disc for that. The basket is kind of right um, through there. We got... Might be a little too small to see it. Speed does not matter. Uh, Man, what do you think? It looks like maybe Firebird or this Ursus. I like those two discs. Then we're gonna try the Ursus. I think the Firebird just might be a little bit too fast for that. So I gotta, gotta make sure to get it flat though. Juiced. Come on, sit. Juiced. Oh, super juiced. Actually, maybe not. It's putt, it's that a putt. That might be but like perfect actually. I'm glad you threw it because that looked a lot, that looks a lot farther than I thought. That flex gap is kind of bigger with that, now that I'm up here. Mm -hmm. But I still don't like it as much. Gosh, these discs are so cool. <laughs> yeah. And that one, the rim on that is crazy. The omen. All right, it's kind of domey for a thought space disc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I, I like the, the dome for the extra glide. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Let's get behind it. Just, oh. Oh, skipped out of the pin. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Whew. I'm gonna go with your P1 as putter of choice. That's fair, that's, that's definitely deeper. It's, yeah, it feels a little more natural. Doesn't have the bead, but feels that like the sense. right depth. It's probably based off of like a similar mold, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it has more glide. There we go, nice putt. Let's go. We also didn't really put the, we were, we talked about this before off camera, but for this video, whoever wins gets to take their favorite disc out of the other person's oh. bag and keep it. Oh no. Um, Is that your favorite so far? So far, I really like it. Okay. This, I, it's kind of hard because I haven't looked through all the stamps and I'm sure there are gonna be six stamps in there oh, that look incredible. There's amazing stamps in there. Thought Space has only got amazing stamps. All right, a basket is going way back here, kind of behind everything. You'll be able to barely see it real fast. All right, back to two strokes. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I would, I'd be feeling pretty good too. I feel like you kind of got to pick a gap, throw something over stable, and yeah. like it back. Ooh, I've been wanting to throw the Halo Boss actually, so. This thing's a little bit big for my hands, but we're gonna go for <laughs> it. Oh, that looks real good. Swing inside that. Oh, that's perfect. Oh yeah, that feels good. Ooh, is this a? Dynasty. Okay, Dynasty. I think I'm gonna go Firebird for the stability. It's a little bit windy, so. Yeah, that is a good choice. That disc is not stable. No. I didn't see it come down, are you good? No, I didn't see it come down. Oh no. I think just came up a little bit short. Yeah. Oh, this oh, is why no. I don't putt in line. Uh-oh. Oh. We're falling apart, Thomas. Don't do it too fast. Don't do it too <laughs> fast. We gotta make this video competitive. That was the point of me missing both those. Now we're back to- Now we're back to- Yeah. Back to square. Okay, I got you. I, it was intentional. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That little bit of wind just gets right into my head. I know, it does. It gets in your right head. Right to my head. I was focused on it too much. Instead of actually hitting my point, I was like thinking about the wind instead of hitting my spot. What is that? That's probably B position, 300 feet? Uh, yep. Looks like right next to that tree. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I don't want to, and I don't want to really use the same disc again. Cause like, I want to kind of throw the, the Firebird again. Cause it's a good forehand mm. disc. But well, if you want to lose, you can throw something different. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. All right, go ahead and lose. All That's right. fine. Uh, we're gonna throw with a Qatari because it's nice, stable, fast disc. Oh yeah, it's stable. Uh oh. Oh, you're out. You're out. You gotta look at it. All right, we got a long look. Okay. Roller. No, too much wind. I have to trust. No, I the thought forehand. about that. I saw the essence in there. I think that, we're gonna that go. That is my forehand destroyer, the green one. You didn't have to tell me that. Okay, forehand destroyer. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Oh, I should have let him throw the overstable one. That was a great shot. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the help. <laughs> and it looks like we're a little bit blocked, but I do like the pier to try to go underneath this tree here. It's a lot of wind. Oh, oh my man. gosh. So close. So close. I thought you did that. All right, I'm honestly kind of wondering if I should not putt with these big beat air bars, because obviously, yeah, because sometimes yeah. they like the beat gets in my head. Yeah, I mean, because I'm. I will say the player. practice is like very much up here. Definitely seems like it. I don't even mind the envy on a putt, but yeah, this feels like a pure. Yeah, just the premium plastic. I have yeah. a lot of things that can get into my head when you don't practice putting. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. I'm falling apart, Thomas. It happens to the best of us. No, that's why I'm not the best of us. <laughs> uh, all right, we got, um, I believe this is in the B pin, which is like 270. 270. Yeah. And so I think I'm gonna try to throw, I'm gonna throw a hex. Ooh. Like the hex, get that speed underneath that ceiling. Yeah. And the perfect MD1. The perfect MD1, just like Simon says. Oh, wow, a little flippier than I thought. Yeah, it's kind of. Okay, but that's still a putt. It's like MD1, you know, it's not MD3. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Honestly, that changed, because I had been looking at the hex like an Emac Truth or an MD3 for a while, and then mm -hmm. I watched Simon's video, and then I went out and threw that disc in, and I was like, he's kind of right. Like, it's definitely, yeah. I kept wanting it to like finish a little bit more, and yeah. it just doesn't. I, I expected it to, but I guess I shouldn't have. All right, I think we're gonna go. Shout out Throw Joe's, one of Thomas's sponsors. Yep. This Pathfinder looks Everything looks so good. Oh, that's high. Get through, oh, get lucky. Uh, uh, well, now you get to mess with the approach game in my bag. I think jokery. No, yeah. let's see what else you have. Why not? Is this yeah. a temple? Temple. Everyone's been telling me I need to try the temple. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's like, a, like a tactic I, I would compare it most to. It feels like a tactic. Yeah. I threw those a little bit and I never got along with them. So hopefully this is different. Look how warped this thing is. I know, yeah, that. Have you thrown this like six times? Like, like 16. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's my least favorite thing about these type of discs is how warped they get. I hate I know, warped discs, yeah. but we'll I throw it get, in and then I'll I want to get into again. premium plastic. That'd be, I feel like that'd be amazing. Yeah. Oh, he throws it good though. Oh, wow. Nice shot. A little baby run. Oh, oh that's a thank loose you. Straight. Oh, Very much man. appreciated. Yep, no worries. We keep mus missing pups for content. We I don't do. know what's wrong with us. <laughs> it's for content, guys. We gotta keep it at even. Still even. Still even. Well, this is a fun position. All right, All right. straight shot. Hole seven, six holes, we're even. If I, if I remembered how to putt from 15 feet, I would still have two strokes, but we can't <laughs> think about that. Looks like 260 straight ahead, really cool looking position. Mm -hmm. um, fence is out of balance to the left. You still have the box. I'm gonna go with the, the Tui on this one. I'm gonna try to try to mimic Simon with his little P1A shots. Throw it on a, a bunch of hyzer. Flip. Oh no! It was definitely starting to flip. It was. It's surprisingly more stable than you think though. Yeah, right? it, it, did, it didn't that's quite get as much like, like the like, quick stand up yeah. at the beginning. And that's what I expected it to do, but it just, I'm, it might be like that it's domey, so it moves a little bit less laterally as Maybe. fast. Maybe, yeah, but, yeah. Cause I think like a flatter one of those would definitely pop up. I think we're gonna throw the Praxis. Yeah, it's a great Feels choice. Feels like the right shot. A little bit of wind pushing us this way, but I think this is pretty flippy. That's kind of flippy, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, a little bit. It's snuck up there. Highlight putt. Highlight putt. I, I want to see it. Or he's going to hit the tree and be parked. Well, uh, well, what's the park job? Mm. We both oh decided to park it. Gosh. There's only so many times in a video you can say that we're keeping it interesting before <laughs> people realize we're just missing putts. <laughs> How stable is this in a wind? In the wind, I have, I've, Throwing that maybe like four times in the wind. I imagine it's pretty, it seems pretty similar to a jawbreaker zone. Yeah. In general. 
it does have that little puddle top on it, so it definitely will keep it. Or like that little yeah, that thumb track little, thing yeah, that yeah. does definitely lose some glide, but. Thomas still has the box because I refuse to make a putt inside of the circle. It's a policy position that we have on the channel now. <laughs> 220 straight up the gut, kind of hard to shoot because you're in the woods, but. We're gonna go with the, the Kia again. I'm gonna try it on a forehand this time. Oh no. Dang it. I've been wanting to try one of these. I've seen Big Germ talk a big game. Oh, it's a Big Germ Mortar. It's so. a Big Germ Mortar, there you go. Oh, looking good. Too stable. A little more stability. Good roll. Oh, great roll back. <laughs> Thank you, roll. Right in the middle. Nice jokery there. All right. Perfect. Okay, that's pretty clean. Big pot time. I think I'm about to jump right where this thing is gonna point. Headwind, don't even think about it. Commit, dude. Wow. Let's go. What a putt. Woo. Nice one. Thank you. It's crazy how the like two millisecond pauses make such a difference in your timing. Yeah. Just yeah. focusing on that. Nice, nice. All right, this is a hole I need to set the tone on. Hole number nine, our last hole. I got a stroke. That was a big putt. Uh, 360 feet, it looks like. That's the B position, right? Not the A? Yeah. I think so. Looks like I could uh, flirt with losing one of his discs with a forehand. The problem is I think since you throw so much farther than me, uh -huh. there's nothing like that's really like comfortably flippy for me to actually hyzer flip up there. Yeah, I think I'd I have to throw everything a little or too a hard. Sidewinder. Yeah, the sidewinder's just probably more flippy than you'd want, and the Votum's a yeah. little more stable than I'd want. A little want. more stable. The wind is helping, though. The wind is pushing us up The wind that is way. pushing, yeah. Okay, 171. That actually might be doable. I was looking to see if you had anything that wasn't max weight, because that yeah. would be helpful. <laughs> I kind of really like that forehand, but I think I just hit that tree because of the wind pushing us right mm -hmm. when I get it on yeah. riser. Too low. No, it's Big skip. skip. Okay, uh, I'm wondering, how far was it? It's 360. 360. I mean, the forehand's the easier shot. It definitely is. I just didn't trust it with the wind right now, which is bad, because my tr forehand is way better than I give it credit for. Mm. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go forehand. With which what? disc? That's the problem for you, is I don't have a lot of good forehands. TI Nuke? TI Nuke is a great, um, I mean, this is Destroyer as well, but it kind of feels That's like a That's the one I just run. pulled out of the water. I have no idea oh, what that really? is. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. It feels like a flippy one. Actually, I'll throw the destroyer. So in case I do lose it, it's not that bad. <laughs> the wind should just push it. It shouldn't really flip it too much. How do you know the difference in that? Like, just the, like the, the direction. Just because like, it's coming directly it'll, the to the right, come, not gonna yeah, it's come like, forward at it's, all? It's when it like will kind of make the disc stand up and then when it gets over top of the wing and then it'll shove it down and straight into the water. Uh. And so like it's it's more like it's it's more of a tail than it is it, a head. It's like a tiny bit more tail Left cross right. than yeah, it yeah. is a head cross. Where if it was a head cross, I'd be more worried. Thank you for sharing that knowledge. Of with course. Me. Yeah, it definitely was a flippy destroyer. Yep. Sit. All right, we got. That's a, a putt. great shot. You got a putt. That, that we got a putt. Honestly, not bad. If that caught any edge, I was looking pretty, but. He's 25 feet into a head cross. Oh no, you're Tail like, cross. yeah, like 35. I mean, I can make this putt. The question is, can you make your putt? Oh, that was I like that line. line a lot. I know, I liked it too. 22 feet left. Push. Oh, oh, nice left side oh. catch. Good puck, good puck, good puck. Thank putt. you, thank you. I knew that that was like the most pressure you probably ever felt. Ever, ever, any tournament. Honestly. This is more serious. There's like a whole disc on the line. It's a lot more oh than my gosh, it's like so... the tens of thousands of dollars that you play for some of these tournaments. Oh yeah, it's way bigger. I mean, you'll actually hear the pros tell you that fun rounds way more pressure than any <laughs> other event they've ever played. All right, playoff hole. It's always good to have the box when you're in a playoff. It's That's always something true. you like. You want to switch boxes if we continue playing? Yep, sounds okay. good to me. Either A or B positions, either 230 or 290. What do you think that one is? 290? I'd say 290, yeah. Yeah, looks like it. I think we have two Pathfinders. We got the Glow Pathfinder and the new Pathfinder. I imagine the Glow is going to be slightly less stable. Yep, I believe so. Because it's a little bit more used. Yeah, that, that 
that one of Aura is just like a little more stable than most that I've thrown. Yeah. So I think the glow should be a little straighter. I think this is the closest that I would get to probably like the hex that I would throw on some highs of here because the wind is pushing us up this hill, but mm -hmm. it's going to be guarded by all those yeah, trees yeah, as we get be. down there. So hit this gap on a little bit of turn, I should be happy. Whoa! Uh oh. Decent kick. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with the Jokery. Just nice, consistent disc. Gotta give it a little bit Manheiser, I think. But I like my chances. Oh, come on, push wind. Oh, scoot. That's down there. It's a putt. Yeah, That's it's a putt. definitely not the line I was intending to release it on. All right, that little kick out gave me an opportunity. Oh, oh. Mm. a nice flight to it. Yeah, that's what I wanted it to do. Just never finished. I'm gonna go P1 from a knee. All right. Oh, no, what a putt. Oh, the ball in there. Let's go. Nice. At least you didn't make me have to make this comeback or embarrass <laughs> yeah, myself. Yeah, for sure. My Just own for sanity sake. sake. You got it. I mean, I believe in you. Easy putt. Dead Look center. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Not the worst. <laughs> well, it's always disappointing to blow a two-stroke lead on terrible putting, but it is what it is. And fair is fair. So if there's anything that you like from my bag, it is 100% yours. Oh, that hex is going back there. Ooh, okay. That's true. I do. <sighs> hmm. Honestly, I really, I like the jokery. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I could always use another one. This one's in a really nice, beautiful plastic. Yeah, it looks nice. It's really, it's a really nice disc, isn't it? Don't be too sad. It's a really nice disc, huh? You just, just wanna take that from it's me? It's just going to a nice, cozy home. Awesome, yeah, that's fine. I like that disc a lot. Uh, shout out to Aaron, who got it to me, who now got it to Thomas Gilbert. So didn't think it was getting in an actual pros bag for a while, did you? But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna shoot some more videos here and that's gonna be a blast, which you should check out. Subscribe for those. Go follow Thomas. Where can people find you and your sponsors? Um, so you can find me on Instagram, Thomas Gilbert 54 as well. Uh, Few different social medias, Facebook, uh, YouTube, hopefully we'll be posting a little bit more, try to catch up to you. And don't try to catch up to me, you already have oh, a life. I, know. I don't have a life, yeah. you don't need to do that. <laughs> but uh, Thought Space, you can find them on uh, Instagram and YouTube as well, and then uh, check out them on their website, they got a bunch of really cool discs. Yeah, Thomas releases, some point, coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be on the lookout. I'll have all of his links and his sponsor's links in the description if you wanted to support him. Otherwise, go ahead and uh, check out this video down here, which was my video with Eric Oakley. But more videos coming with Thomas probably next week. We got, we're gonna film some more. It's gonna be a blast and we're gonna it's release gonna them over a little bit of time. I should've won this video, so I now have to get some redemption. But other than that, okay, love you guys, bye.